My name's uh, David Woodhead. Um, I'm from NT, Northern Territory, uh, and uh, I've been doing comedy now for five years. Five, six, six years now, <laughs> six years now. Comedy Zone is a showcase full of six amazing comedians that the festival put on every year. It's hand-picked. They pick you from uh, a, a sea of other t debaucherous comedians <laughs> And they hand, they pick you up like a little claw machine and they drop you into the, the dream land that is the Melbourne Comedy Festival where you perform for 21 nights and 10 minutes each. It's an hour long show, it's very tight. You know, you're in and out, you're out by 9.30, you can go get some dinner or have an early night for work the next day. You know, perfect way to start slash end a night. Um, my pre-show ritual, um, have a have a beer and a ciggy. That's <laughs> I'm from Darwin, so that's that's my, that's my pre-show. That's my ritual for everything, you know. Yeah, that's pretty much. I don't really do much. I should do voice exercises, but I don't do anything. Just just get up and just get up and kill. I'm feeling good as well. I'm feeling very good. Um, it's been a year since I decided to lose some weight, and uh, I've lost 60 kilos over the past year. I've lost 60 kilos. Um, thank you. Uh, <laughs> you guys are like, I don't believe. You. How fat were you? I know I'm still a fat dude. I'm still a fat dude. But the difference is now, I'm a fun fat dude. I'm a fun fatty, all right? Where a year ago, I was a sad fat dude. It was a sad fatty. And the main difference between a fun fat dude and a sad fat dude is if I go to the bar tonight as a fun fatty and just take 10 shots of tequila and rip my shirt off like Hulk Hogan, you guys would be like, oh, fuck yes. <laughs> The party started, Big Fat Dave's just ripped his shirt off. You'd love it, you'd love it. If I did that a year ago though, you guys would be like, oh, fuck no, party's over. Because Big Fat Dave's just ripped his shirt off and he's sweating in my beer, this is disgusting. Uh, my thoughts on the other comics, um, I, you know, I've only, you know, really met most of them today. Um, I despise every single one of them. I, I think they're, I think they're going to be, <laughs> I think they're going to be the, um, unfortunately, the bodies that I lay to rest to get to the start of, I don't know, no, they're great. I love them. I love them all. They're good. They're good people and you know, very friendly, very nice. They're just literally sitting right out of frame. Uh, so it's very, this is one of the most awkward questions I've ever had to answer. <laughs> like I met a, you know, I met Koshin like what, like a year ago, yeah. a year ago. Yeah, he's really good. I think they're all funny. I th I've seen a bit of their stuff, and it's all good. I hope they like me too. That's that's the question that really matters. What do they think about me? My first ever gig uh, was for Class Clowns, which is like a, uh, for high school students, like a competition that the festival does. And it was in Darwin. Like, this is a true story. Um, like just before I was supposed to get on stage, my I bought new pants for the occasion, but I was very nervous and I didn't like actually like test them out. And when I sat down, like the first time I sat down that whole day, I ripped them. And I had to do my first gig with like a huge rip just up the calf. Oh no, no, what's this part called? This part. That part there. That one. And it was just like Right, just just before the, the package, and it was. But you know, I was able to kind of pull my shirt down. Like I looked, I was like pulling my shirt down to uh, pretty much my knees, and did the gig, and went next went all right, went pretty good. I don't want to be at my funeral, and you know, someone giving a eulogy and just being like, <sighs> David Woodhead, a big man with a big heart, you know. Just some weird backhanded compliment. <laughs> I don't want that. Then afterwards they have a big buffet to celebrate my life. <laughs> like lasagna, chicken wings, chicken parmesanas for some reason. <laughs> and everyone's just like, oh, David would have loved this. <laughs> um, one thing about myself that many people would know. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't even know myself. What would people not know about me? Um, 
Uh, I'm from Darwin. Uh, from Darwin. Has anyone been to Darwin? Has anyone been? Yeah? Yeah, cool, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty cool place. It's real laid back. That's what you hear. If you go to Darwin, people are so laid back. It's awesome. To their detriment, like, they're so laid. This is a true story. In 1974, on Christmas Eve, there was a cyclone coming called Cyclone Tracy. Have we heard of Cyclone Tracy? Yeah, big cyclone, all right? And during the, timer, there, uh, during the time, there was like a big announcement on all the TV and radio just saying, ladies and gentlemen, all citizens of Darwin, please evacuate the town. There's a cyclone coming. It's going to kill everyone. It's going to destroy everything. And as a community, Darwin, we rallied together and we said, nah, mate, uh, <laughs> it's Christmas Eve. I just chucked the ham in, all right? <laughs> I'm not, look, I'll make you a deal, all right? If, if, if the cyclone comes, Sandy Claus will come down on his sleigh and karate chop the dog back to Indonesia, all right? <laughs> I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I don't know. I, like, I, like. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, actually. What would people not know? This is, uh, sorry. And this is still how laid back people in Darwin are. They took six months to debate whether they should rebuild Darwin. Half a year. Some of them couldn't be fucked. <laughs> I was like, I'll just go stay at Perth with my cousin, drink some emu lagers, <laughs> wait for it to grow back. I don't know how cities work. <laughs> I had a pet turtle as a kid. <laughs> he ran away. His name was Chompers. <laughs> Some fucking turtle ran away. <laughs> my mum put him down for a second. Like, because you have to walk the turtles. Like, they can't just stay in their tank. Um, and... Uh, my mum went inside and it came out and the turtle was gone and we couldn't find it. And uh, yeah, so I lost a turtle. That's something people <laughs> might not know about me. What else I'll be doing in the festival? You know, I'll be chilling. Like I said, I'll be smoking darts, drinking beers. Uh, I'll go, go see a bunch of other shows like, uh, like Jack Immens, uh, Best Newcomer. That's what the show's called. Um, and yeah, just kind of go and just enjoy. I've never done the whole month of the comedy festival, so I'll just be enjoying that and having a good time. Yeah.